All right, guys. So in today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing this drum set that was supplied to me. They asked me to do a review on it, and I wanted to see if it was any good so I could recommend it to beginners or intermediate players looking for a secondary practice set. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and put a link to this drum set in the description if anybody is interested in checking this out. And they've gone ahead and included a little sheet of paper that includes all the information you'll need about this drum set, which is uh, pretty handy. I didn't get one of these when I got my first drum set. I just had to get it wrong for a couple of years and then watch the DVD to figure it out. And first up first. Ooh, okay, we have drum heads in the first box. <laughs> that just kind of fell out on me. So. We have two kind of stock drum heads. So we have the front head and we have the batter head. In this bag, we have our floor tom heads. So single ply, resonance, and then a dual ply batter head. Next up is our 12 inch tom heads. So same thing, clear resonance little bit hazy batter side and our 10 inch heads so we have our 10 inch clear resonance and our 10 inch batter hazy all right let's see what's in this box so here we have our hi-hat stand nice kits nowadays are packaged way better than they were about 15 years ago <laughs> pretty standard hi-hat stand this just kind of clips in there there we go sweet We'll go ahead and slap the top part on. There is a screw in there that you have to put together. So you just go ahead and thread this top part, and then you slide down this tube piece into the hi-hat, and that'll determine how high your hi-hat sits. Now that that's in there, I can finish tightening this rod, and we'll go ahead and just leave this like it is for now. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the side. All right, we got some symbols going. So these are probably gonna be the hi-hats. This is a 14 inch pair. They look to be just kind of cheap bronze. We'll get a real good go at these when I actually get the kit set up in a sec. Here is the included crash flash ride symbol. Pretty standard crash ride, bronze. Kind of tinny sounding, but it could be cool as an effect or something. Onto the good stuff. I'm pretty sure the stand is in here. Oh. Yes, that's correct. So we have our stand and our floor tom legs. Stand floor tom legs. Again, pretty standard entry-level hardware. You're not going to get anything super beefy in packs like this. If you're not a monster, then you won't have any issues with that. Though these, if you are looking to have something like this, then just be cautious of that. Because these are typically very flimsy. Like, you can... You can kind of bend one with your hand if you wanted to, so make sure you don't stack anything on top of these. And this will just slide in like that. Go ahead and set this to the side. Now with this drum kit, if I'm not mistaken, those are the only two stands that you get. You get one cymbal stand and one hi-hat stand. Ooh, this is sick. And it looks to be just kind of a uh, run-of-the-mill poplar wood. Hardware kind of vibrates on it a little bit. It's not very well isolated from the actual shell. I don't know if there's actual spacing in the hardware or not. I actually kind of am surprised by this. All right, cool. So these are going to be the hoops for the 16 inch floor tom. And here we go. Floor tom, 16 inch. Same thing, poplar wood. This actually looks a little bit better than the 10 inch. I'm actually kind of surprised. I have a lot of grain and a lot of dust on the shelf. The only thing I don't like is that it's kind of hard to see in the camera, but you can always see all the fingerprints in these kinds of wrap finishes. These are 12 inch tom, sweet. These both look a little bit better than the 10 inch. You can tune these up to be really great. I used a drum kit made out of this wood. And uh, if you know what you're doing tuning wise, you can get some pretty good results. This is probably my biggest gripe about drum sets like these is the thrones. And I know this because my throne is actually one of these, and I've had it for 15 years, and they are not that great on your back. So I would de definitely recommend swapping one of these out if you're going to be doing prolonged sessions. Here is the bottom half of the throne. Okay. We're going to go ahead and assemble this. 
Oof, it's a little tough, huh? Slide this bad boy in. And bam. We have a nice little throne. This is going to be our snare basket. Go ahead and extend the legs on this. Again, kind of flimsy stands, but you kind of get what you're paying for when you buy an entire drum set for under 300 bucks. Make sure that the cradle is facing up. Slide that together. I wouldn't put a huge ridiculous snare on it, but for what comes with the kit, this is probably perfect. Oh, cool. And rings for the 12. All right, time for the big boy. Here we have a 22 inch kick drum. That sweet black mirror finish. Again, a little dusty. Nice solid shell, no cracks. Nothing really to be worried about. This is pretty sick. So yeah, so you have some plastic hardware. So plastic hardware on the inside for the legs and for the tom holder. And uh, I'm sure the nuts to tighten these down are gonna be in the box somewhere. So all we have left are two mystery boxes. Let's go. Sweet. Let's see, sometimes it's, you can get either a stainless steel snare or a wood snare. Let's see what's up with this. Yep, coupler wood. This one actually came with the heads already installed, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, that definitely needs a little bit of a tuning, but out of the box, it's not bad. This is probably gonna be all of our hardware for the kit. All right, it's done without the plastic wrap, but I'll live with it. And for this, you just go ahead and put in the holes at the base, and it just props itself up like this. And use your trusty drum key to just tighten this whole thing up. Next up, we have our bass drum legs. Back home holders. And a mountain of hardware. <laughs> and actually, uh, drumsticks. That's pretty nice. You definitely didn't have to do that. A little light, but... I mean, if you're just starting out, it's not a deal breaker. It's a nice little inclusion. And the second bass drum spur. All right. So now that we've pulled everything out of all the boxes, I'm gonna go ahead and do a time lapse of me setting everything up, as well as miking it up so we can do some audio tests to see how this kit sounds. So overall review of this drum kit, uh, you're kind of getting what you pay for. 
there's a number of hardware issues that I ran into. The floor tom legs were falling off and causing the floor tom to fall. The hi-hat clutch that holds the top hat, uh, the bottom of it kept unscrewing, so that would render the hi-hat kind of useless at, after a point. My kit actually didn't come with the two nuts to tighten the tom holder, which is kind of not good. <laughs> uh, it makes them super wobbly and a little bit harder to position because the only means I had to hold them in place were to put a locking nut on. And as you can see, they're still kind of wobbly. I kept running into an issue where they were moving side to side. So the hardware is probably the most disappointing thing about the package, but for the price point, I can definitely see why they are the way they are. They're priced accordingly. Uh, the rack toms only have five tuning lugs on each side, so it's a little bit harder to tune. Uh, there's not an even spread of tension across the head. Floor tom and kick drum actually come with six and eight lugs on each side. They're pretty easy to tune, and uh, I think I actually got them to sound pretty decent. The kick drum just kind of had this weird thwacky sound too that I couldn't tune out, and I think that's more attributed to the head choice that the manufacturer used. I think if you got some decent Remo heads on here, it'd actually be passable. The snare drum was actually the most surprising thing. If I swapped out the snare wires, I think this would be a pretty passable snare. I wouldn't use this in the studio, but I would definitely use this um, in a practice setting or in a, a teaching setting and not feel completely embarrassed about it. <laughs> I'm gonna hold this thing up to the standards that I hold my regular drums up to, and just because this is a starter kit that was provided to me for review, it doesn't mean I'm gonna give it a pass. I definitely think the price point kind of makes up for a lot of the issues that I ran into. You kind of know that you're gonna expect this kind of build quality when you get something this cheap. I would definitely recommend this to starters if this is something that you'd like to get into or uh, you'd like to learn a little bit more about the drumming world. I would say this is a really good spot to go when you're not losing a ton of money or uh, gonna throw a bunch of money down the hole if you decide to get one of these. Since they are popular shells, they're not gonna sound great. They're not gonna have a ton of resonance to them. They are gonna sound kinda dead. Personally, I'm gonna take this home. I'm gonna put mesh heads on everything, and this is gonna be a sick little practice kit for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Would you like to see me do more reviews and things along these lines? And would you buy this drum set yourself? Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.